course the bucket sits in this cradle you know not a lot to it uh, if we have to do you know some kind of work generally and you saw it probably in the instructions that you lock those in do, yeah and they just screw in. in yeah it just screws in now one thing to note you can kind of hear the high pitch sound coming from them if I yeah that? yeah I okay. can hear that yep so that, that that's actually their uh, I mean, it's just a frequency that we're reading. Uh -huh. And uh, we, we do a cal actually a field calibration based on the frequencies as we add oh, weight. Okay. As we add weight, uh -huh. you know, the reading goes up and we just do a uh, curve to that. Okay. And that's where we get um, the calibrations for these. But something to note, again, just in case. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, if you were to be doing some work on one of these and you tighten these down, mm -hmm. You're still, of course, not this time, but uh, well, even yeah, even though you're not hearing anything, there, sure, uh, you'll get uh, there's still a frequency being read over on the data logger. Over on the data logger, okay. because what it is is we just locked it down to where it's stretched. It's still being excited. Okay. Uh, so it could look like you didn't unscrew these. Or it could look like you did unscrew them, but you mm -hmm. know, in reality you didn't. So it's just, it's good to make sure that, uh, that you did in fact pull that. And one way that you can test, if you carefully, mm -hmm. you know, put your finger right next to it and add, just, just push just down just a little very bit. Very gently on yeah, there. Yeah, okay. you'll hear here. the frequency go up. Notice the black dot on the uh, rim of the bucket uh -huh. right here. Okay. Yeah, there's a right. dimple right here. There's okay. You can see. None of these have it. The, the other two don't have the dimple. There is a dimple right there. Okay, right on the. Yep. Okay, right That dimple the lines up lines with this up with black the, uh, dot. Black. Okay. That's just for the sake of consistency because this bucket was in this gauge in, in the field here with an oriented that way when we calibrated it. Just okay. That way. We know. What's that now? Dump some in there so we can hear it. Okay. That's a I don't have to put any some in there anyway. Okay. It's an awful show. It's a little hard, but you can hear it. The frequency goes up? Yeah, the frequency going up, yeah, okay. as we go in. Um, huh. Cool. When the this right here, there is a heater uh, on the outside of the cover there. Plugged into that. Yep. The therm thermistor in there that'll. Okay. So that reaches a certain temperature, the, the heater will turn on. Okay. And that plugs in right, right yeah. there. And it's important if for some reason, I don't know, say your pump wasn't working or something mm -hmm. like that, you know, it just it, it wouldn't pump. That, now, that would be a scenario where you're actually going to have to take the top off. Okay. And you know you've got there is stuff I saw your pictures in instructions mm -hmm. uh, there's stuff in there that addresses that that would be the time as soon as you got the top off you would go ahead and lock these lock down, down. Uh, but you're only gonna be able to lift up a little bit before you have to unplug this right okay when you're putting them back on when you get this plugged up you're probably gonna have to come down here and you want to make sure this isn't happening you don't want the cable touching this cradle okay because even just I, even if it's just touching it, it's going to uh, affect right. the frequency reading. So as, as you kind of as you lower the top, you can actually kind of twist it, and it'll you know push or pull this depending upon you know where it needs to go just to make it so it will fall something okay. like that. It says it's nowhere near. Yeah, the manual the says they mentioned to put some spacer or something. To, yeah, yeah. Is that is that, is that, is that helpful? <laughs> it, it, no. It can be. Okay, yeah. but you don't just, usually do it. You just kind of no, don't put it down. Okay. The Keep thing busy. is, it's such a tight fit. Yeah. Usually, what I'll do is, I mean, I'll lift straight up a couple of inches. Yeah. And then just 
put it in a little bit of a bind. Okay. I mean, my shoulder or something just to get it to put it in a little bit of a bind and then I've got my hands free okay. to work and it's, it's not going to go anywhere. And okay. even if it did, it, I mean, it's, it's only got a couple inches to go right there. It's right. not going to hit anything. But, okay. Uh, I never have it fall. But, okay. Uh, whenever Michael sends you out uh, these, I'm sure he'll just send you out like cut a little piece of two by four or something. So just, right. just so you'll have it. Yeah, yeah, you know. just in case. Uh, it, it, if it's cold, you uh -huh. know, stuff like that, it, yeah. it could make it uh, easier to do. That's Randy. Is there anything else? That's about it. That so should I, when I'm when I'm emptying out, I don't even need to get in here. Usually, no. I just you just use the pump. Right. Pump back in. Okay. Yep. The only yeah. reason you'd get in here is if your pump doesn't work for some okay. reason. Okay. So it doesn't need cleaning the the bucket here. We clean it on maintenance, but yeah. for just. Just an event where, hey, the rain gauge is too full, it needs to be emptied, typically just empty it out. And, okay. Uh, Do you ever get stuff in there? You know, never. <laughs> I mean, get stuff in all of oh, you man. know, there's all we, uh, yeah. pieces of wood. And, oh, we have birds. Birds and dead bugs, birds. And just, oh, it's, <laughs> so, it's so did you usually, So is it, 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 I mean, they just told me to empty it out, but should I, I mean, since I'm here, does it look inside uh, to see if it's, you know, because it's, I don't know. That, that's, what, what do you think? <laughs> what am I going to say? You know? uh, <laughs> is that best practice? Absolutely, that's yeah. best practice. Um, is that what they're going for here with yeah. this? I don't know. Okay. I don't think so. I okay. think it's to get uh, as much benefit with as little trouble. Right. You know? Uh, but if I had a way to look in just a. I don't know how easy it would be, but just, just, just a, a step ladder in here to concrete. Yeah, you can just to peek in to see if there's anything yeah. in there, and then get further call them up or something. Maybe yeah. just let them know. Say, yeah. hey, there's a there's a pigeon in there. You know, I'm right. gonna go fish it out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, again, I mean that. that would be the best thing would be for okay. it to you know to come okay, out. Okay, I'll. But you know, it, you are taking off in your hands a little bit when it, whenever this top comes off. Yeah. Uh, these are fragile. It's yeah. It's just a little piano wire. Right. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I've got some spares over there. I can take one apart and show you what okay. the wire itself looks like. But there's not much to it. I mean, right. we, uh, Mark Hall has uh, one time he's just set a level on top of the inlet there. There they mm -hmm. are finished. You mm -hmm. know, set the level on top of the inlet, kind of doing some other stuff bumps the level it falls down in the inlet oh. all three wires are broke oh really yeah just a, so, the weight of the level falling yeah in. Wow. so it, just to give you an idea yeah, of how okay. sensitive they are all right uh, they, they, they can they can go like okay. that and so even good, good like, to know if, yeah. the if the bucket's really full yeah uh, I'd say you're over 50% of the way there to its threshold as far as if you just were to push on the top of the bucket there's Before a chance it you breaks break one okay you know, a, a, a shock is worse but even when it would have that much weight in it, even if you just kind of push down on it. So when you're when it's up like a 400, how deep is it? How far down? What, uh, what would that be? It's probably going to be right around back. So right around. So yeah. what's 450 is all the way. Pretty 600 much is all the way. 600 so, but, is top. Yeah, but okay. I mean, of course, it'll we'll start coming out. Obviously, the circumference is bigger as we get out. So yeah. Uh, okay. It, it's going to be, you know, pretty full. Pretty full once it gets over 400. I mean, it, it's. Okay. It's heavy, and it's heavy. I mean, if you try to just yeah. pick it up like that, it's heavy. And, and this will uh, get slippery. The oil and stuff, I mean, it just has a way of kind of getting okay. out here. And so if you do find yourself in a situation where you've got to pull it out, you want to really pay attention to make sure these are locked down. Locked down. And really pay attention to what you're doing when okay. you grab a hold of this thing. So you don't want to drop it. You especially don't want to pour whatever that is on you. Right. It's just nasty. It's not going to hurt you. Right. Yeah. Except, yeah. Except you're, you're not going to be hungry for a while. Right. You know. <laughs> it's, it's it's not good stuff. Okay. At all. Good to know. Okay. Any other all thoughts right. or anything that you're thinking? What in the world is this? Or 